Today I'm going to talk about using the GVG control panel to control the audio aspects of the ATM switcher. Um, this includes the audio faders, panners, on-air toggles, AFE toggles, and it extends down to the media player channels, audio 1 and 2, the uh, external audio, and of course the master fader. This is all accomplished using the audio button on the uh, GVG panel. It used to be called Aspect on, but now it's the audio button. And when we turn the button on, it uh, then changes over the key bus to become audio channels. Ten buttons are the first ten buttons of the ATM and then in conjunction with the shift they become 11 to 16 um, and then 17, 18, 19, 20 become the media player 1, media player 2, external and master. Also the joystick becomes uh, audio uh, fade and pan and then the display will then show you values as you're adjusting them including some of the buttons but we'll cover them in a moment so the first thing we do is that if we just say press button number one what that has done it's turned on the AFV so I'll just press it again turns it off so as I press it on and off you'll see it turns on and off up there now that's a quick press that's just a normal press if we push it and hold it you see it stopped flashing, flashing indicates that it's AFE but now by pushing and holding it's turned it on and I'll do it here again if I just push and hold it it'll turn it off push and hold it, turn it on quickly push it, it'll turn into AFE quickly push it'll turn off AFE and as I say AFE is flashing and then when it's on air it doesn't flash and of course when the tally when the tally tells it it's on air it'll stop flashing as well so that has turned on audio channel 1 I can then I'm just going to hit AFE on channel 2 you can see channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, channel 6, channel 7 and you can see that they're all on and then again I can then make that turning to on air just by holding it pushing and holding it and then you can turn them all off by doing the same thing again just turning them all off so that's basically how you turn on the um, the AFVs and the on-airs and of course when you see the on-air goes on it turns on the on-air up the top there now what we can do with these particular um, adjustments is that we can now also use them to set the um, audio levels and pans and so the way we do that is that just by pushing any button down down here will automatically set the adjustment to that particular button so let's say we push button 8 it's now regardless of whether we push it as on air or um, AFE it's if we have a look over to the display here now and we hit the control button you see it now says 8 which means that it's now ready to do any adjustments necessary to channel 8. Now these adjustments are single channels only. So if I now go over and say press button number 2, you'll see now that that's gone over to number 2. So it's whatever you've selected last on here. Now if you don't want to select anything up here at all, which um, sometimes you may not, um, you um, if you just by hold the button here, you can see that you can actually change to whatever channel you want so there's 20 channels obviously and obviously if you've got a lesser switcher than a 2ME you um, only get the channels that uh, are available so let's say we want to adjust say fader 5 and now you can see it's come back and said 0 that's because fader 5 up here is in fact on 0 down the bottom you'll see it there so there's two ways we can adjust the audio level the first way is by just using the two keys left and right for down you see it's now going down and over here you'll see it's going down over here and of course we can go up and again you can see the levels are going up over here if at any time we just want to put it back to zero 
we just hit the um, uh, the right hand button on here and then it sets it all back to zero the uh, these adjustments are actually um, a bit tricky because they it's a logarithmic adjustment but the um, as you're doing the adjustment it's it converts it to logarithmic so it's an even it's an even uh, flow down and up so it's converting it to a logarith logarithmic change as, as you're adjusting and again if we go back to pressing this button here the right the left button it uh, then sets that to um, back to zero now you can also adjust these um, um, audio levels by using the joystick and the way we do that is that again whatever we've selected so we're still on channel 5 let's just go to channel 1 it's easy for me to find when I pan over so we're now telling it told it to adjust panel uh, level input number 1 if we turn the positioner on you'll notice if I come back here I don't know if I can do it big enough I can then move the joystick down and it adjusts the fader down and if I move the joystick up it adjusts the fader up and of course while I'm doing that the value is being displayed over over on here and just uh, just another little trick here is cha quickly changing hands if you actually use your mouse to adjust here you'll see that it's also reflecting that same value over here as well so that's all the values that are read out here are actually what have been sent back from the ATM. So that's how you can use the, um, the joystick to do fades. And it's also done so that it's gentle enough so you can actually do an on-air fade if needed. Um, and again, if we just hit the button here, it'll just bring that back to um, uh, zero. And you probably notice that the dashes will just fade all the way down. When you get the two dashes like that, it indicates that it's on infinity or no level at all. And I'll just bring that back up again. And of course, you probably guess it, but using the left and right on the joystick will move the pan. So I just put the fade back down there, and you'll see as I do the left and right, it does the pan. And of course, the display will automatically show you pan. The display senses whether you're moving the joystick up or down, showing you volume. And then if I then just, I'm not hitting any other button, it just senses that all of a sudden it's doing a, a horizontal movement, so it must be doing a pan. And then the other little trick here, of course, is that if you want to put, just set the pan back to centre. As we showed you, if I hit that button there, it puts the volume back to centre, or the fader level back to centre. But if I actually hold my finger on the shift button and hit the same button, it actually puts the... Um, the pan back to centre. So I'll just move that over there again and without moving off here I'll just hit the button here and then you see it puts everything back to centre. So that one button then can can give you the ability to be able to centre both the pans and the um, and the fade values. And um, and then to obviously to come out of um, audio that audio mode we just turn the button off again and then the key bus and the display and the joystick then just revert back to what their normal operation is. So that's basically how you can use the GVG control panel to change all your audio settings. I, I just quickly um, cover the, you can also do the, um, by hitting the shift and say button 20, that's actually now controlling, we've told it here, oh, we're going to be in here. So we're on audio mode, if we hit control, no, sorry, shift and button 20, um, we now have the ability by using the joystick to actually control the master fader and then if I just go back one so you'll see here this is on 20 if I go back to 19 that gives us the control of the uh, external and of course we can also do the pans and then we go back one more we can do um, 18 is the media player 2 and again, we have all those controls over everything. So all the aspects, all the aspects of the audio control, the ATM are covered. And that's it.